Okay, so we've got a question here. We need to find iterations of complex functions. Now the function we're going to try and iterate is this one here, f of z equals z squared plus 1, where z equals a plus bi, normal complex uh, analysis rules. Now I've been asked to find the second, third, fourth and fifth iteration. Now the first iteration, that is this one. That's f of z equals z squared plus 1. Now you can put an imaginary one there if you like to show that it's the first. Now, if you check the link below, you'll see certain rules and shortcuts on how certain uh, methods of finding the third, fourth and fifth iterations. So for now, I'm just going to jump straight in and find the second iteration. So the second iteration, I'm going to give that as a two in the uh, subscript and f of 2z, that equals f of f of z. So basically what we do now is the z squared plus 1 rule is applied to z squared plus 1. So basically what that means is we've got z squared plus 1, so the z is z squared plus 1. So we do z squared plus 1 and then square it. And then We've got the constant here, which is add 1. So now what we need to do now is just foil out this z squared plus 1 and remember to add 1 at the end. In a previous video I did, I forgot to add this 1 and it made all the rest of the iterations incorrect. So this time I'm going to be super careful to make sure I keep adding up all these constants correctly. So z squared plus 1 squared, that'll give us a z to the 4. And then 2 times 1 plus z squared, so that will give us a 2z squared, and then a plus 1, and then the plus 1 again. So that's our second iteration. Now the plus 1 plus 1, we can just change that straight away and just put plus 2. Okay, so let's make a note of this. So f2 of z, i.e. our second iteration, is z to the 4 plus 2z squared plus 2. Okay, so that's f2. Now let's try for the third iteration. So f3z, so this time I've got 3 in the superscript there. So now this one is f of f of f of z, or we could use some sort of shortcuts and we could call this our f of f2 of z. Those are equivalent. So now what I can do is use the f of z rule, so s z squared plus 1, and plug in the second iteration. So that's going to give me, so z squared, so that's going to be this one squared. So f2 of z is our input. So z to the 4 plus 2z squared plus 2. That's all squared and then add the constant. OK, now let's just try and simplify this up a little bit. So we're going to foil this one out. So let's just write our working out here. z to the 4 plus 2z squared plus 2. And then z to the 4 plus 2z squared plus 2. And then I'm going to add 1 at the end. So let's just fill this one out. So z to the 4, let's distribute that with all of these. So that's going to give me z to the 8 plus 2z to the 6 plus 2z to the 4. Okay, let's fill this one out with all of these terms. So that's 2z to the 6 again, 4z to the 4, and 4z squared. Okay, now we just multiply all of these terms by 2 to get the last one. So now we're going to add 2z to the 4 plus 4z squared plus 4. And then not forgetting to add on R1. OK, let's simplify this up. So I get all the terms together. So we've got our z to the 8. Right, z to the 6 is 2z to the 6, 2z to the 6. So our two coefficients give us 4. 
So that's plus 4z to the 6. Now let's get our z to the 4s together. So we've got a 2 there, a 4 there, and a 2 there. So that's going to give us 8. And then our z squared. So we've got 4 there, 4 there. Okay, so that's just plus 8 again. And then our constants, 4 plus 1 is 5. Okay, so now let's put down our third iteration. So I'm just going to take this bit off the board. I've just worked that uh, out from here. So I can just take that off. Okay, so now let's look for our fourth iteration. So f4 of z, that's our f of f of f of f of z. Now there's a few ways we could write this. We could write this f2 of f2 of z. So use the f2 uh, technique and we could plug in the f2 answer. So let's start with that. So then let's just put our equal sign here. So using our f2 and then plugging in that for every time we see a z. So we can have z to the 4 plus 2z squared plus 2. So then that is going to be raised to the power of 4. Now we've got this 2z squared. So plus 2. And then our z, which is this f2 itself. So that's z to the 4 plus 2z squared plus 2. And that's all squared. And then add 2. So I'm going to leave you guys to foil this one out. Now another way I could write that, I could go f of f3 of z. So I could use the f of z rule and plug it in our f3 of z every time I see a z. So that one would also be z to the 8, let's write that 8 a bit clearer, z to the 8 plus 4z to the 6 plus 8z to the 4 plus 8 z squared plus 5 and then that would be squared and then add 1 and the other way around we could do f3 our rule and plug in f of z wherever we see a z so that would be f3 of f of z so the f3 rule z to the 8 so every time we see a z plug in that z squared plus 1 z squared plus 1 to the 8 plus 4z squared plus 1 to the 6 plus 8z squared plus 1 to the 4 plus 8z squared plus 1 squared plus 5 and that will give us our f3 rule plugging in our f of z so 5 here is our constant and we're plugging in our rule. So that would be our uh, answer for our F3 of Z. Now you can check these, uh, maybe use Wolfram Alpha, Wolfram Alpha to check that all these three are the same. I'm going to leave that to you. And then my last iteration is going to be the fifth one, which is F5 of Z. And that would be same as this one, but plugging in an extra f of z in there. Okay, so our f5 of z, we could do that as f2, f3 of z. So use the f2 rule, which is this one, and then every time we see a z, plug in this one. So that one would be, so first time is z to the 4, using z to the, three, uh, the third iteration, so that's z to the 8 plus 4z to the 6, plus 8z to the 4, plus 8z squared, plus 5. And that would be to the power of 4. That's our power of 4. Now we've got 2 times this one squared. So that's going to give us z to the 8, plus 4z to the 6, 8z to the 4, plus 8z squared, plus 5. And that's all squared. Then at the end, using the F2 rule, we just add on our constant, which is 2. 
So that'd be one method. And the other method we could use, we could use f of f of 4 z. So our f4 of z, which we could use any one of these. So I'm going to choose this one here. I'm going to plug that one in. So then we use the f of z rule, which is z squared plus 1. And wherever we see a z, we plug the f of 4 in. So I'm going to plug that in and square it. So we're going to get z to the 8 plus 4z to the 6 plus 8z to the 4 plus 8 z squared plus 5 and that's all squared and don't forget to add r1 but we're still not finished because we're using the f rule f first iteration rule so this term here is all squared so all that will be squared and then we add r1 so that's two ways here that we can find our fifth iteration so you can check these are the same for yourself and then all these three are the same as well. Okay.